Alright you guys, I'm back again, this time with my high bandwidth SLI bridge review. Well, I guess not really a review, but more of a performance review because there's really not much to review about it other than you can change the colors on the LEDs and it looks nice. <laughs> well, at least in my rig it looks decent. Some people don't like the darker color, but my theme fits just right with the darker colored uh, SLI bridge. And uh, in this video I'm going to be comparing whether or not these are the Pro Pro 2 versions, SLI bridges. This one's a traditional two-way. This one is a two-way and three-way SLI bridge. And yes, I was originally going to get three-way until eh, Nvidia decided to kill that. So I still kind of might. I really want to. <laughs> but we'll see where finances are. Can't just dump another $700 on another uh, 1080. So. Um, I guess for, you know, initial reviews, people are saying, oh, well, this doesn't make a difference. It does, depending on which game you do. So in my video, I'm just going to show you guys what my rig did with Fire Strike. Because we all know, as a baseline, Fire Strike is kind of what everyone refers to. So why not? Um, and also, SLI is supported and uh, scales well with Fire Strike. So it's kind of a fair benchmark to do comparing all three of these I kind of <laughs> these two don't make a difference between you know the scores didn't vary maybe like 10 20 points in fire strike so I'm only including what this one pulled out compared to the high bandwidth one I was gonna do one with the uh, ribbon cables because a lot of people are like, oh, you can just do the ribbon gables and you don't have to buy a high bandwidth one. Unfortunately, I gave mine away. So, can't do that. And, like I said, in my opinion, I'm not bashing on anyone who has 1080s or 1070s. But if you're buying the top tier card now at $1,400 for two cards, this is only $30. $39. This is $39. This is $29. So the price variance, I don't see why anyone would complain about getting one of these because not only does it give you the choice to change the LED lighting, why not? <laughs> it's the exact same price as that. And I'm sorry, but if you're going to buy $1,400 worth of video cards and you're putting ribbon cables on, there's <laughs> I think there's a problem there. So spend the extra 30 bucks, get one. I don't I don't know why anyone would be like oh let me put ribbon cables on fourteen hundred dollar cards so all right you guys let's get it started and uh we'll get to the slides and show you guys the, the differences in both the uh, sli bridges guys here are the results so here you go uh, SLI older bridge on the left high bandwidth on the right um, we'll start we'll actually just pay attention to the graphic score because you guys all know that obviously the physical score is gonna bring down the overall score and I don't really have a my 5930k in these benchmarks were only at 4.5 it kind of has a hard time at 4.6 and <laughs> crashes right away at 4.7 so 4.5 is what we have it at obviously if I had a better chip or the brand new 59 uh, 50x or 6950x uh, it would definitely be higher so I'll pay attention to the graphics score so on the left with the regular fire strike we got a graphic score 39,484 and then on the right side the high bandwidth we got a graphic score of 40,608 so about a, just about over a thousand points better with the high bandwidth bridge. And as you can tell, core clocks are the same. I don't know what the deal is with the memory clock. Sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't, so. Um, let's see here. And extreme here. 
So on the extreme score, it didn't do as well as I thought it did. I don't know, I even tried rerunning it before this video a couple times, so this was kind of the best one I can get. Uh, so obviously, again, left side, older one, right side, newer one. Core clock is this is a little lower on the extreme one, I don't know what the heck that is. But this was kind of the better one, even though the other one's clocked a little higher. So graphic score on the old one was 20,518, and then the new one was 20,518. 47 so literally like a 37 or 30 just a little bit over a 30 point jump of the high bandwidth one <clears throat> then here we are with the ultra score um so on the left side is the older one um graphic score of 900 or 9918 and then the high bandwidth uh graphic score was 10194 so not too much of a difference there just a little uh was a couple hundred points maybe here and there so <laughs> i expected better with uh the high bandwidth ridge but it obviously didn't make too much a difference with my system like you and again you guys this was kind of just my system it's not you know everyone else's system's different but these are my results of the high bandwidth bridge and then for fun, you know, we'll we'll do the best, uh, like with my overclock. So here we are with the regular Fire Strike uh, overclock scores. Graphic score 42,834 at 2139 megahertz. And then with uh, Extreme, we got 18,289 overall. Graphic score of 22,739 with a core clock of 21,000 or 2,126 megahertz and then with the ultra my best ultra was 10,274 overall graphic score of 10,871 and that one was at 2139 megahertz and then for fun I didn't I actually had the bridge already installed when the time spy uh, benchmark came out so here's my best one. Got 12,353 overall, graphic score of 14,244. And surprisingly, you know, this uh, Time Spy has DirectX 12 and all the new updates and supposedly test for 4K and everything. So obviously, it did do a lot better than I thought it would. Um, my original score before overclocking was like 11,000. So. Overall, it's been a great score, so. And so really to conclude whether or not you should buy one of these, I think it will benefit you in game. So obviously, yeah, these scores are, these scores are what they are. They're only a couple hundred or maybe a thousand points over. But uh, the high bandwidth bridge for the price is only $39. So why not? You know, it, it looks better, better than ribbon cables. And obviously, if you're going to buy one of those, it's $10 more than the old bridges, so you might as well get the new ones. So I hope this helps some of you guys uh, decide whether or not you want the new SLI H, uh, high bandwidth bridge, comparing it to the older bridges. Like I said, I don't got a 5K monitor or anything crazy like that. So for the general user, this is a 1440. 144 hertz monitor it's the asus rog so in game it works great i noticed a difference in gta 5 and in doom uh with uh battle battlefront star wars battlefront i thought it did a lot better than uh, the older bridges because i had some i uh, had some scaling issues but now i have zero scaling issues i haven't seen any problems in games with the new high bandwidth bridge so um, if I had software to record all that, I would show you guys, but I don't got any of that right now. So, like I said, I hope this helps you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.